individual in the world now can make philanthropy and charity work um, part of your life without having to say, I have to stop my life. Like you can make it part of your life. And the idea that small dollars aggregated across a large base can make a really big difference. I don't believe it's an option not to give. I believe we all have the shared responsibility. We all are part of this world. We all have to help. You give whatever you can, whether that's your time, your money, or your resources. Giveology is the next generation of giving, and we wish to revolutionize the way that people give. Giveology's mission is basically to connect donors with students and education-related projects in developing parts of the world. The name Giveology is actually original. It's not something that you can find in the dictionary. And it really represents who we are and what we want to do. Giveology is a very new organization. They've um, only been around for a few years and already they have expanded their work into 19 different countries. And the idea is that no contribution is ever too small to make an impact. You give whatever you can, whether that's your time, your money, or your resources. Giving on Giveology's website is a very fun experience. And for us, it's not just about making a donation. It's about being able to track your impact and to participate in a community of giving and embrace the spirit of volunteerism. I mean, the whole idea that the entire organization is volunteer run gives it such a purity. This isn't a business. This isn't, there is no, there is no bureaucracy. This is just human inspiration on top of human inspiration, one long chain, and everyone relying on everyone to do the work. The strength of Givology is its people and its footprint and its network. And by partnering with the M. Knight Foundation, we get to triple it, quadruple it. At the end of the day, like, you know that each minute that you put in has a tangible outcome when you see the letters come in from the students, when you see video footage, and when you see pictures. Once you realize how unbelievably powerful your time is, you can't really stop giving. If you wanted to settle a community for the first time, you want to build the perfect community, what's the very first thing you want to take care of? Do we build roads? Do we build hospitals? What do we do? Do we do make the, the art museums? What do we do? No. You educate. You make the best schools, period. You put all your resources there, and then those kids and those people that are educated will take care of everything. They will make the great hospitals. They will make the great communities. They will figure out how to do everything correctly. If you don't do that and you do everything else, you're doomed. And so education for me is the primary thing one needs to do in, to make your homework. Education is empowerment. It allows an individual to express himself or herself fully, to participate in his or her community. Education is one of the most powerful ways of creating change and a way out of poverty. It has been shown over and over again. When you educate a generation, the next generation has already been impacted. Givology is about empowering individuals through education so that they can make a difference in their local communities and ultimately so they can change the world. If you want to make sure the world is a better place and is more educated in the future, you really have to start with making sure everyone has access to good quality education. We try to identify leaders in the community that have kind of been vetted by life. We support them in, in their endeavors in their communities because we feel like they're the experts and they're the ones that will get the best results. We partner with the best grassroots organizations. We go for the organizations that are nimble, community-driven, very local, one school, one community, one village at a time. Community leaders know their communities. They're from their communities. They live there, they understand the people, they understand the culture. They have their pulse on what the needs are. So when we find these leaders, these leaders are the ones that guide us. We're at a tipping point where we can grow so much. We have so much ambition to triple our impact, to expand our network, and we have the enthusiasm and the volunteer base to do it. When we decide not to do something, when we feel bad about what's going on in the world, but we sit back and say, you know, there's nothing I can do about it, we're actually being complicit. Giving is something that should be done every day and something that should be done often. We want the world to get better. We can do it. We don't have to wait for politicians or anybody to do it. We can do it. That's my dream is that word gets out to everybody, to all those young people, and they just take over and they fix it.